So, yeah, create my database. Or, do, 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 do. Uh, where's your database.yaml file? Is it in config, I guess? Yeah, oops. Break db create. Break db migrate. Break db. Okay. Okay, yeah, I see the errors you're talking about. Don't worry, Thomas, you're not missing anything from my side, just bundling. No, no problem. I was thinking that, you know, if... if Four, four smart guys, at least three smart guys and me who could have a look at this, we, we might sort this out. <laughs> yes. Yes. I'm not even sure if, I mean, I just, I just wrote some specs, uh, you know, uh, I would like to have a fairly good test coverage of, of this. So, if you guys find out something else we could test for when we get this to pass, just feel free to, to come up with any ideas. Um, sure. We're gonna have to look at the app. Don't use the old hash hash format. I think we might have to. Well, I guess I could call stringify keys, but I want to even see if this is the problem. Or not uh, stringify. Yeah, I know that this, this uh, the hash pro hash format is not a problem. Yeah, that's what it seems to be. Oh yeah. Well, I don't know. Maybe I'm misinterpreting it. I want to see if this changes it. Maybe Ruby mine is the problem. <laughs> oh, are you? Are you using them? No. I mean, uh, why Why do you think that was an issue before? I, I mean, actually, I'd like to ref refactor that to, to the new format, and it was still passing for me, you know, while, while the, the, the uh, I mean, as long as the, the, the date, date validator was turned off in, in uh -huh. everything was cool on, on that spec. So, yeah. Right. Interesting. Where is that assertion? Oh, I did it in the wrong place. It should assign date to date. Oh, okay. So it's line 12. Right, so let's actually throw out those changes. To AB search spec. What? Oh. I don't see what's going on. <laughs> Do you not see my screen? Well, we see your screen, but we don't. We, we only see RubyMine. See, we don't see your terminal output or anything else. What? Oh, you, oh yeah, I must have only shared. I thought I switched the desktop. Brother, and <laughs> <laughs> we hear you. We hear you talk, and we don't see anything. So why would you have right to assert name and date? What are these supposed to be? 
well, yes. These are the stuff that we pass in. Uh, see, I, listen, don't take this, you know, I mean, I just wrote this really quickly. I don't know if this is okay at all. Uh, I want to say, I would, you know, we have a, if I don't pass anything, you know, with the parameter, with, with, into, into that method, I have in the method certain defaults, right? So I, I just want to make sure that the defaults are, are, are set. And, or used, you know, when 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 there's nothing, uh, no other options uh, passed in. Does that make sense? If you... um, Thomas, by the way, online. Uh... In the research spec, or like there is this spec called it should assign a standard username to name. Or like the to search method accepts a hash, but you're just passing in a symbol. Yeah, that's what I'm looking at too. Yeah, so I guess I we need to assign a So if it's not there. Wouldn't you just not write name? Right to search no arguments. And then you set did you set that username? This is to be included. You know, I don't understand uh, when our spec makes you use like be include. Anyway. Well it oh, used yeah. a loose form because it doesn't that's what that's that's what I understand about it. You know is that it should include something, but it doesn't necessarily have to be exact match, you know. Mm -hmm. am, am, am I right here, Brian? I don't know. Mm. Sorry, include? Yeah, when, when, I, when I go oh. that it's, this, this string should be there, but it doesn't have to necessarily be the, the whole string. Uh, yeah, I think yes, that's right. I can't even really read that. It's quite small, but yes. Option should be right. <coughs> I mean, have you tested it? Like that, it, it's behaving yeah, yeah. that way. It works in, in, in some other test, the, like the one I, uh, I uh, line twenty nine and thirty three. Expect X classes strings to be included in something, you know. Okay. Now, how come I can't catch debuggers within the oh, right I, of search? It, it seems that you have to write write R spec minus D to, to to Oh really? Okay. Yeah, I don't know if this is just some Sin Sinatra stuff. A lot of stuff is different here, you know? Mm hmm That's because Rails did too much for you. Yeah. And I love Rails for it. And uh, <laughs> I think Sinatra is cool as well because you know for simple apps it's it's really you know there's not much overhead uh, like it is in 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 I mean for instance we could have used Sinatra for for Cordelia I think you think so well for most, for parts of it or for like I don't know well I still prefer Rails because of their asset uh, the way they handle assets sure. yeah to do that with Sinatra you have to you know, manually run your own little tasks for pre-compiling rather than not. So, hmm. yeah. yeah. Rails is handling that nice. stuff. Why would that be no? But if this feels a little messy, you know, in, in comparison to, to Rails, you know where everything is and everything has its place. Here you can, you can basically do whatever you want. And yeah. And that ends up <laughs> nasty. Yeah. nasty, yeah. But I mean, unless you try and yes, I'm pretty try, try to keep this as as uh, you know as tidy as possible, you know. But uh, again, first question John is asking me: Don't you have a lib directory for your code? And I go like, no, <laughs> you know, <laughs> you didn't set that up. So fair enough. 
and, and John, you know, if if you feel that this is would be a be better solution to actually have a lead directory, feel free to refactor that because it's, uh, it's you know, uh, it's cool. I would rather not do uh, non-critical refactoring, so sure. just some of that threw me off. Uh, why would name not be defined? Debugger. Craziest actress I've ever seen. Oh. So uh, just on a different subject, Brian, how was the meeting after I left yesterday? Um, yeah, I think it went good. Um, Mohammed showed us a couple of things that he's... Uh, did he, you were, were you there um, when he showed us all the stuff with... Uh, uh, I can't remember now. All the other editors that they were using. I, I catch that on the recording. Uh, oh, no, okay. Yeah, I, I, I yeah interesting. Yeah. Really interesting stuff. And the similar, yeah, I mean, they are they are you know, doing similar stuff that we we planned to. to, to mm -hmm. uh, they are a little more structured, but you know, they, they I mean the stuff that they uh, follow with you know heavily guided, uh, you know assignments, then you know becoming more free, and then you know with without any training wheels, it kind of resembles the, the way we thought about setting up the workshops. Uh huh. Our part as well, so uh, yeah, I think it was a good meeting. Yeah. I'd say. Cool. So, what, what what was your plans for for the IDE? Well, um, I'm gonna try and f at least for the passions one. I was going for that uh, idea I had where it's just a small pop up editor. Mm -hmm. Doesn't get in the way much, but maybe for the more advanced lessons, we could have a full-blown, you know, editor just like uh, one of those that Muhammad showed us yesterday. The one where they had the little hints going on at the top. Oh, I mean the the guide the guided part on top. Yeah. So something like that because I don't think an editor like that is suitable for a passion, you know, a passions workshop. It's too intimidating. Yeah, so I'll probably be hacking that together tonight. Mm. I can join you later on tonight. Cool, yeah. I'd like to get as much people on board. Well, you won't have me on board. I just want to see some magic, you know, me and God. <laughs> oh, you'll see some magic, don't worry. <laughs> right. I think Sabrina is on a slow connection. Yeah, I can tell. Not early in the month. He usually he usually stays, you know, on on good connection for the first two weeks. Yeah. Let's okay. Let me share my screen now. So Maybe I should open this in yeah, Ruby mine. Just, just a general look at the Go ahead, John. Uh when when you like an A V certs, you know, it's not wrapped in a class, so when you set at username, what is that assigning at username as an instance variable to? 
Um, Sorry, what? what? What is self here? Debugger. Well, what is self? I don't, well, when you call debugger, I'm not sure if self is going to be the self that you're trying to debug. <laughs> I think it is. That's um, it. Line eight. Uh, yeah, I think. Uh, ten dash D. Yeah, so a catch debugger there and self is main. So you're assigning instance variables to main, huh? <laughs> I have no idea if that's good or bad. What main is just main dot global. Yeah. Uh, Right. Okay, so I wonder what happens if I drop this debugger lower down. Thomas, do you mind giving me a quick rundown of what you've done here? What's going on? Yeah, hey. well, what the hell is going on? So you, know, you didn't like my vocabulary with the F U S A? Okay, no problem. We can go with help. Hey, don't put that in your mouth. This is a a a a electricity, brother. Easy. <laughs> That's a USB cable. <laughs> he wants to get some juice. Yeah. So listen, what what happens here is, uh, well, the main file here. The, the, there are two main. Uh, well, well, actually, okay. Let me put it this way. This this application does two things. First of all, it generates. Uh, certificates, either one certificate if, you, if that's what you want, or you can go, you can preload a CSV file with with some data, and then you mm -hmm. know generate a bunch of, of of certificates and mail them out to people. That's one thing. The other thing is that this application can validate uh, a certificate because on each certificate you are giving a given a URL. Uh -huh. If you follow that URL, we are hitting the database with a long hash that is created. You know, and we, we create that in uh, one of some of the one of the files. I think it's in uh, generate it's certificate RB. Yeah, that's the model file. File. And if you, yeah, that's what the, the identifier. You see that we are we are doing a shot two fifty six. Uh, okay. Hash. Shot and, two fifty six. Yeah. So so. Um, when that is passed in, we check in the database, does it exist? Yes, it exists. And then, then we were returning back to the user uh, 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 view saying, yes, this, this is a valid certificate. It's been issued to Brian or this and that. Or. So mm -hmm. that's, that's if you go to app.rb, uh, we have three, three routes here. You know, one, just get the, the, the head, you know, the root. You know, yeah. we, we are rendering the index.rb, erb, and then if the certificate is valid, we valid we we render the valid erb, and else we 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 render the invalid one. So there are three views in this. Right. Pretty what about index? Yeah, index is the one that what that you get when you when you hit the the root. Okay. You know, yeah. Fair enough. So we don't have any interface for generating those those certificates. Everything that that is that on the CLI, you know. Uh, so the, the the only user interfaces are are the the, the ones for uh, validation of, of of the certificate. Right. So this cert, okay, cert dot username. Okay, student name identifier course. Oh, okay, right. So what 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 me and, and John was been talking about is is the method in in the avcerts.rb. Avcert, uh huh. Which one? Yeah, we have a long method there called write to cert. Uh huh. A lot of options that can be passed in. Right. I, I went with options because you can either pass in stuff, you know, like for instance, I mean. Usually you have to pass in name, right? So, but but that's why we, we said if you if you forget to do that, 
we have a fallback on line 14 that th there is this no name variable, uh, you know, for, for, for username. Uh, and so this is what's confusing me. This is none of this is in a class, right? So this instance variable is set on the main object, which, uh, whatever. I don't know if that's like horrendous or not. Okay. But how do I test that now? Like, how do I come in here in your test environment and say, you know, yeah, that a, will be very, to... yeah, that will be very difficult to test. This is actually bad practice um, using like global variables to share between functions. So I would refactor that to pass in a, uh, you know, parameters. You know, you have the options hash. Why not just... Hard code these options into the options yeah. hash as so the what... yeah. Oh, wait. So, oh, okay. So these variables are declined, uh, what, sorry, um, declared up here. Okay. Yeah. Ah, right, so these are just default stuff. Okay, cool. Yeah, it's completely it seems like the problem is that the instance variables are outside the method, and I move it instead. Okay, why but, not use But you can have something in a class, so you could put it in a class, right? Yeah, you could. Why not just use a global then? John, how do you feel about that? Uh, I mean, we could define these defaults inside the method, although this or method is already... But that makes that make the method is even more fucked up. I mean... Why not use a constant? No, I just realized. Maybe a constant would be a lot better in this case. Constants should be accessible, I think. Give me a sec, guys. I'll be right sure. back. What do you think? I don't know. I need to look up a recent article where it, I... Right. OK, what exactly are you cool. testing? Well, like, for instance, I was going to... I think that the point of his uh, it blocks in the first describe block for AV cert spec are testing those defaults. So I wanted to set one of the defaults and then call a, uh, right to the cert without any arguments and then, you know, yeah, okay. assert that the default came out as... Expected. Let me look at Thomas's branch. I think I don't wait. Uh, hmm. The, did you see that? Oh, the tests are the test branch is actually in on upstream, is it? Mm-hmm. Ah. Oh, okay. Mm, tests. What? Oh, wait a second. No. Oh, yeah, you guys have that defaults. Okay. Is there any particular reason why these defaults need to be defined? So, are they like, are these referenced anywhere else? If not, we might as well just move those all into the... Because you see the first line of write to cert defines as defaults with uh, at username, at course name, and at course description. Uh-huh. Uh, you could actually move that out, FG. probably. Mm. Well, let me open up those files again. Where was... It looks like they're following the uh, advice of this particular blog post that I just read. Or maybe they read something similar elsewhere. But with the options hash being passed and empty, and then defaults being defined, and then options you know, merging into the Thomas, default. I tried with, like, I tried it with having uh, a default as a constant, uh, the hash in the global uh, class in space, and that works. So I just commented and so you guys can have a look. Yeah, I think the defaults are not changing. Might as well keep it a constant. Okay. Yeah, I added the system passing on my branch. Whoa, what? What is this syntax? Dollar. What is in dollar? 
dollar colon is this actually a variable? Um, that is the first argument. Sorry? The, that's the first the first argument when you call it by the command line. Like uh, if you Ruby certificates the Ruby, you also an argument that's the first argument. Okay. But why use it's this syntax? Uh, yeah. I think because of the way he's in it. Ruby dash generate dot rb dash e. Ah. Okay. Okay, I'm I'm back, guys. What's up? Cool. Now you can try and explain this because I'm pretty left. Why the hell are you doing <laughs> using this? Why? 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 What? What? Because <laughs> I don't understand any of this stuff. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, what is this dollar call on thing? Oh, you mean line three here? Yes, line three. This yeah, thing. No idea, no idea. Uh, some sort of. <laughs> listen, guys, come on. Remember, this is our it's first. All magic. Yeah, we, we just we just did this in the Sinatra app, and there was some some templates, some scaffolded, you know, codes that we grabbed someplace without perhaps realizing. All right. That's what we're doing. Uh, sure, sure. No, no, don't worry. I'm just asking, like, why did you pick these? Yeah. If you knew. Well, it's all right. No problem. I'm just curious. Right. Now, which, uh, I, which I test... Do it. I thought about this line as well, you know. I, was, I wonder what that does, you know, when... You know, well... Hmm. I think that's uh, when, uh, like, in your documentation, you call the uh, uh, file from the command line, like, with an uh, uh, arguments hash. I think that's it's because of that. It's for that. Because dollar one stands for the uh, first argument in the command line. I'm sure. Unshift. I have used unshift before, but I can't. What does unshift do again? It's something with an array. Either pops it or. Um, shift. It uh, shift. Right. Uh, like shift pops the first element and moves it to the left. So that's unshift. Okay. Wait. Okay, I still don't understand this thing. You know what? Forget it. It's, uh, I think, requiring this in the path. Unshift adds file name, dir name, file to the front of the path. What well, file, dir name, file re results to this file, right? I guess I'll throw a debugger in there and see. Yeah. And just dollar sign colon resolves to Oh we do this. Very long array. With yep. Now, I don't know why we need this in the path, but I don't understand paths enough to protest. Okay. So dollar colon is paths is included or something? Uh, yep, dollar colon is a Ruby special variable for uh, what's in the path. And file their name, underscore, underscore, file is this current file. Well, all these, see, all these yeah. result of this current file, I should say. Dollar colon, but isn't this the root path, so it should have access anyway? I don't know. Oh, this is executable. Interesting. If you run this, 
So why is it executable? Oh, never mind. Now back to the test. What test was... Uh, what were you working on? Thomas? Yeah, uh, we were, yeah sorry. Uh, uh, we were uh, having a look at the, at the tests in the AV search spec, RB. And again, uh, we, if, we, if we forget about the tests from 4 to 15 to start with, if we just go to, with, a, with a block that starts, with a describe block that starts on 17, mm -hmm. uh, if, if you guys run that when and have the validator on line 6 in certificate, dot rb turned on because it's commented out right now and if you run those tests testing pro on that that that's that block and see see what 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 results you get right hold on I had to bundle I thought I did bundle yeah put it now Right. Which one was the one that was um not happy? Well, I I uh, I have two hit blocks, and they should be failing both of them because of this date validator. It should gotcha. say something uh, about validation. Let me see. I can run it myself here. Yeah, show me, Thomas. Yeah, I'm trying. Yeah, uh, I'm getting a. Yeah, let's just should assign a standard username to name. Prawn, yeah, here. Uh, on Prawn rendered PDF certificate should have Thomas as content. It says that no. No implicit convers conversion of date into string. Uh huh. Line five, parse. <coughs> then why don't you add two string here? Wait. If generated at is a date in is already a time instance, is there a need to parse it? Don't know. Um, one required to validate if it is a. Valid date or not, because that is one of the ways. Like, I can check if that's a valid date for or not. Okay, you can. Well, a quick fix is just to put two s at the end there uh, to string before you pass it in the parser. Yeah, just go to the validator the and put the two two s there, and that'll fix it. On the yeah. validator, okay. Uh. Record the generate or two s. Okay. Uh, you mean here at the line five there or? Uh... Yeah, uh, it should be record the generated at dot two s yes. And there is one in the av dot rb as well, which you need to fix. Where? Um, there should be a date dot parse line here. In the AV cert dot RB. So this changed. In the default, it already says to us. Whoa, Thomas, um, you switched to TextMate. What happened to Ruby Mine? Uh, yeah, TextMate is best. <laughs> no, we just, you know, I'm just trying to, to, to pick up some new stuff, you know. Yeah. I'm <laughs> um, line 24. Line yeah. 24 options uh, dot fetch, then dot 2s inside here. Yeah. 
Like this? Yeah, in fact, if you just pull from my branch, that all is fixed. So. Okay, well, I have one arm only right now, so... <laughs> he can't pull anything. There's probably a much easier way to convert time to date. No implicit conversion. Yeah, no, but Symbol that's, yeah, that's, that's, that's the other yeah. time. That's, that's, the, that's the one yeah. that we have on the first. The first okay. Uh, so that's okay. So that's that's fixed. That's great. I mean, I can push that up to my. Cool. Prawn. Hmm. Oh, prawn PDF. That's what you use to render PDF. Cool. You know, I get these specs to pass. I don't know, Sam Pretty, you just did this. Uh, line 28 of AV certs. Yeah. Save certificate, name, date, course, same course, description. If I make date 2S there. I don't know why that's the only place I need to call 2S on it, but... Make a test pass. That's all I had to do. Save certificate. Oh, wait a second. Did I accidentally throw out my changes to certificate? No? Oh, it still validates with. I think once you've uh, merged in Thomas's fix, you don't need that 2S. Thomas already pushed a fix to upstream? Mm hmm. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, with the, the one that, that somebody did talk me through with the two, two S's. Mm -hmm. Although it feels a bit weird that you're converting a time object into a string and then getting another time object from that. True. <laughs> it's like a roundabout way of doing things. There's a, probably a more I direct mean, either, way. Like, either he could convert all the uh, time objects to strings when he passes them, or just convert here. There are two ways. Or you could, you know, before you uh, parse that object, you can check what type it is. And don't try to parse a date object. I mean, a time object. Hmm. Whatever. This is just yeah, a well. piece of utilitarian code. I guess it doesn't have to be pretty. Yeah, it doesn't have to be brilliant. Go on. So why are we even writing tests? Yeah, that's my question. What? I'm just going to be thrown out after a while? Who's What's going to be thrown out? I don't know. Like, uh, for, for this this code, what you what do you plan to do with it? I mean, future? this is a live app, guys. Come on. We, we, we are using this for, for validation. We, we, just, we just deployed 57 certificates. That, that needs to be validated with this application. So it's going to live for a long time. Okay, okay, but how many more batches of certificates are you ever going to make? Well, at least two more. Uh, because because uh, we have level two and three certificates on okay. the same course. So it's, it's going gonna, it's gonna to be alive for a while. Okay. And that's one thing. And another thing is that I was hoping, planning that... Uh, after the summer, when I get back, we could use something like this to generate certificates for the Cordelia. Mm. You know, because I mean, we can we can. Uh, there are some points here that we can, you know. I mean, we can rewrite some of this code, and then we can have the background to be uh, dynamically set by the user. We can have we can build an, an interface for for setting a lot of this, uh, you know, settings to how to build this PDF, and so. 
we could we could build certificates for for different courses. For instance, Cordelia, or if if we ever run some other you know uh, closed MOOCs for for uh, Agile Ventures. So, I have some plans for this for this application. Otherwise, I wouldn't be bothered, of course. Right. right. Are you taking for a while? So I can the All right. Well, the tests are complete. Let's work on Cordelia. Let me. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Okay. So, did you push something up, or do you? Well, I mean, what other tests do you want now? Well, I was hoping that we could, uh, you know, get those uh, those uh, date and and the name. Uh, okay. Stuff done. Uh, All right, Thomas, what time oh, will you be around later? Yeah, sure. Cool. Yeah, uh, I think I want to go make my dinner now, and then when I get back, hopefully you guys are done with this. And oh, we'll be done. With start. In fact, I'm going to have to cook some dinner as well. So. Oh, okay. All right. Yeah. Um, then I'm going to start on Cordelia. Sure. The new IDE. Oh, by the way, Thomas, have you reviewed my pull request? No, I have not, but I can have a look at it. Uh, I had a, uh, I created a pull request. Just like yes, I, I saw the, uh, you, had, you had an argument with uh, Hound. <laughs> with Hound CI. Yeah, that's good. That's great. You know, <laughs> that's a bot. You know, you shouldn't be arguing with him. I know. I just did it for fun. I lose anyway. Yeah. And you know. When when somebody actually reads the bots, uh, I mean the bots comments, I'll tell them, you know, uh, they can see why why I did it. You know, it's uh -huh. not bad that it's over ninety, you know, over eighty lines, but you can't really reasonably split that into two lines. I, so, I was actually uh, thinking though, and this is just my opinion. You don't have to agree that you might want to use slightly different language. Like separate your language more strongly for asserting that you're on a page versus, well, okay. So you say I should be on a page. That's clear. Uh -huh. But the, the other one, where you're actually traveling to the page, you say, I am on the page. And in my Given mind, that's I'm ambiguous. On. You might want to explicitly say I visit, so that it's clear that when someone's using that cucumber that way, that they're actually traveling and not asserting that they're on it. Because people I've seen in local support have used one for the other because it used to be that the language was I am. And so they would say, given I am on the page, blah, 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 blah. And then they like they say that <clears throat> it's asserting that they've actually made it to the page and actually their page is broken and it visits the page and it you know, doesn't actually take them to where they are. So, just a thought. Okay. Hmm. Well, that can be done in another refactoring story. I don't think it's that bad at the moment. Yeah. But uh, the I more like important thing is, is yeah, I'm trying to compress everything into as much as possible because um, I think just having more different steps is going to slow down Cuke a lot because it has to parse everything. Anyway, <clears throat> yes, you the more important thing, Thomas, is... I've cleaned up the the passion workshops. Everything's in a nice directory, and there's a parent layout. I need the parent layout because I cannot embed things easily, or I have to do them manually for every workshop, which is just not practical. Oh. If uh, you know what I mean? Yeah, I know exactly what you mean. And uh, yeah, because it was really messy. So I I, I assume that you uh, do you still have that in the public directory, or where are they now? Oh, they're in a template file. I mean, you know, under views. Okay. Nice cool. uh, directory. Yeah. 
Yes, 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 yes. Yeah. Uh, okay, and how about those CSS files for those workshops? I, I, I had one. I haven't, I haven't uh, moved them anywhere yet. CSS. I haven't done. I haven't uh, worked on a CSS or JavaScript. I just wanted a quick one for the HTML. Okay, because you know, I I had one CSS file for my workshop too, and he. Uh, so okay. Well, I haven't I haven't changed those, so they're all still working. Do you want to see it? It's still working. Where is it? There you go. It's still nice working. See, this is your workshop too, uh, just with a different path now. Okay. All right. Uh, yeah. No, I, actually, I don't see shit right now. There you go. Okay. Uh, but are, are, are the are the CSS files still stored in the in the? They're still in the public directory. Yeah. Okay. All right. Yeah. Temporarily, I can move them, you know. No problems. As long as specialized problems. directory. Uh, yep. I just really want the his, the HTML thing to be resolved. All right. Hey, good night, Sampriti. Be cold tomorrow. Oh wait. Yeah, Sampriti. Good night. Uh, have a good rest. Yeah. So you want? Oh, me he's to, not here. You want me to merge that in? Mm, yeah, but of course, you know, I have a look in case I left something stupid. Oh, of course you have, because you know. Probably no. did. <laughs> no, it's uh, you know, it, uh, as as far as I can tell, it, I mean, uh, well, well, yeah, you created the let's see, you created a controller or? Yeah, I created a controller. Uh, where is that? Another controller, and it just has one method, as opposed to hard coding stuff. Uh -huh. I created a helper as well, workshop half, uh, stuff like that. Okay. Let me just see how it's structured first. Yeah, and so the URL is now, look, uh, you know, the root path, learning workshop number part, or this is some kind of identifier part one. Or, you know, if I go back to root path, I have workshop one, workshop two. I can click on workshop one, and that goes to. Learning workshop one intro. I thought that's a nice restful path. What do you think? Yeah, yeah, it's it's a great it's a great path. It's a great path. Okay. Workshop two intro. I can go to part one or part two. Mm -hmm. That brings us here. Yeah, and then part two. There you go. Everything looks like it's still working. Um, yeah, I can even show you that the JavaScript is still working. If I try and search for uh, Thomas, we get your uh, awesome photo over there. Yeah. Yes, it's me. It's me. <laughs> Damn right. That's you. <laughs> but hey, you actually said that I can go into the to the inspector and change that user ID. Could you show me that? Yeah. Uh, I can even get that to work on my computer. Let's see. Go here. Uh, settings. Oh, there it is. And I can change that too. Uh, not sure if that will update. No, doesn't update. Ah, oh, damn it. Okay, it doesn't update, but you can change it, <laughs> which is useless. If I refresh the page, it's just gone. Never mind. Yeah, well, that's uh, why I oh. said you have to use some sort of, um, you know, you can't use the inspector. You have to use a, an editor, you know, and upload the file. Mm -hmm. Yeah, which I'm s slowly working on now, and I've managed. I've managed to attach things properly around. Uh, it's hidden. And it's not gonna appear. There's no editor yet. Uh -huh. But at this point, all I need to do is migrate a couple of the old code, and you'll soon see an editable. Thing going on, right? Just right. like magic, yeah. Like, like magic, cool, cool. Okay, so I'm gonna, <laughs> I'm gonna merge that in. Um, okay, wait, wait, one more thing I want to show you that I've changed. It's a small thing, uh, well, that I thought would be nicer. So if you click blog, instead of uh -huh. going to localhost posts, it's now blog posts. Does that make more sense? Yeah, 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 absolutely. And blog oh, yeah. posts one. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, okay. You made a lot of noise there. What happened? 
I don't know. I didn't say it. I just said okay. But, <laughs> but did you did you did you manage to get rid of that authentication BS? No, I haven't. That's uh, I. Could you do that before you do that? I mean, is that before I merge? Yeah. Uh well, I have to think a bit longer about that. I mean, I don't. Because this is I, like. Uh, we don't have any models, so I don't know. So I can I, make a separate PR for that. Sorry. But if if somebody would actually like to make a blog post now, like me or Pete or somebody, what's what what credentials do I have to use? It's hard coded in there. It's admin and password or something like that. Admin and secret. Secret. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, admin and what? Secret. Okay, so now everybody knows that. Cool. Yeah. Well, they know that. Why did you ask the source code? I, I was just, you know, <laughs> I just tried. To... We could we could change it, you know. Is it our case or lower case? And, uh, it's all lowercase. <laughs> and we're not, you know, this isn't a production. That's it isn't in production. At least I hope it isn't. Yeah. Well. So, no, but since it's hard coded, if we push it up, it will be in production. Yeah. If, but no, we won't. We are yeah. going to change that solution completely. I That's bet we'll back in three months, you you guys will be still working on that blog or something. <laughs> <laughs> so can, 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 at can, least you'll see him. You'll see an awesome ID, even yeah, though the yeah, blog yeah. still sucks. <laughs> um, you know, but uh, did we yeah, yeah. did we ever refactor those, those call to actions, or are they still ending up call to stuff? actions? This yeah. stuff. If you resize this the the window now, you remember we had got some weird behavior. If you go back, yeah. Right. If you if you make if you, if you go back to the to the landing page to the main page, uh huh. And yeah. resize it and make the window smaller. Oh, I don't think I've touched that. Yeah, I haven't done that. Come on, Thomas, not too much in one pull request. No. no, it's been there for three weeks now, so it's cool. No problemos. <laughs> 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 okay. Uh, don't we have a bug on Pivotal that's an emergency? Uh, I don't know. Um, Sign it to somebody. Clean up. <laughs> we need a bug. Fixed behavior or small. Oh, there it is. It's in a backlog. That's not right. I'll assign it to someone. Thomas. No, 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 he's making his last day tomorrow. You know, I, I just, oh. yeah, I, I, you know, I, I earned my key because I recorded a few videos with, with Sam, uh, this morning, mm -hmm. and uh, you know, I'm gonna work with you tonight, and then uh, after that, I'm not yeah. broke, you know, I'm, 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 I'm a goner. I'm gone. Yes, I'm, yeah. I'm not gonna touch a computer. Thomas, the last thing I'd like you to do, I think it'll be nice to have like a co-founder. You know, little history on mm -hmm. website one. Oh, you yeah. can take that, uh, handle that before you know you. I can write my. Or... I can I can write my story. You know. And... Yeah, yeah, that's good enough. So I can pester Sam. You know, in the next over the next two months. But once you're gone, you're gone. I like, can't. But you you should you should include some of the you know, uh, OGs. You know, the cool guys like John and Michael and. Uh, oh yeah, absolutely. And the, but uh, you're the one who's leaving. Like, will be oh. out of context, so I need to push for yours. Oh, it is. Oh, oh, yes, I know. So just, just be easy. I'm gonna. You're the co-founder. Oh, yeah. You have to be. Oh, yeah, yeah, I know. I'm very flattered. Uh, I don't really know how that happened, but <laughs> I, I know I am. So, yeah. Um, I'm gonna be like James Dean, you know, because now I, I die young, and I, I'm gonna be all mystified and like a saint or something. <laughs> that's that's. Basically, when I'm leaving. No, okay. <laughs> uh, all right. Listen. Um, so, John, what's up? Are you? Did you write those tests or not? Uh, the Last difficulty is Thomas. that this block uh, doesn't have at username at bg image. All those aren't initialized, and I don't know how necessarily to do that. Oh. The what? Like in these tests. In the upper upper describe block, right to cert. Uh huh. Uh, the uh, defaults that you're relying on are nil. Oh, they are. Yeah. 
Um, try and set them to uh, constants. But that I mean, they are not new. We don't pass that in. I know for a fact that they are used when when the code is executed. So that that kind Yeah, but maybe in, in the test environment, things are loaded differently. Hmm. So it'll f it'll work in production, but fail in test. That's all. So yeah. I think you should uh, just turn it into one big constant. That's all. Yeah. Let me try that. That could work. Mm -hmm. Yeah, Thomas. And if you don't include the photo, I'm gonna take the one from Instagram. This is cool. <laughs> we'll have your <laughs> this photo oh, will be I, on there. I'll give you a really nice photo of me. Wait, wait a second. I just gonna. <laughs> Facebook. I have some. I, I have some photos on Facebook you can grab. Uh, not necessarily very flattering ones, but something good on the website one's page. No. Off logic. Are you using a gem for authentication? Where? I don't know. Well, John's looking up off logic. Yeah, I am. Any recommendations? I don't know. What are you trying to do? Uh, I wonder if this is a more lightweight thing we can do instead of using device. There um, is, uh, I mean, in in uh, in where in uh, in this app or in Codeine? Uh, well, you guys are talking about switching authentication for the blog. I assume you're going to have to introduce some sort of yeah user or something. No, we're probably going to go with device, but I'm not sure. Yeah, well, we we need to figure out something like. You can use this one. You know what? We could just end up creating like admin models anyway, and have that authenticated. Mm -hmm. It seems like we're going through so much trouble trying to authenticate without a model. When we're gonna introduce the model anyway, in the future. So why not just keep that? Have device something we're familiar with. Yeah, you could you could introduce device and just cl close it for new signups or you know and we just we can just sign. Make. Yeah, because nobody nobody not everyone should write a blog. No. So, but but it's it feels like a little bit of an overkill because we we, we would need to have device and then can can to to assign roles, right? No, we can just have admin models. Okay. Like. The model is the admin, not the users. All right. So they have full power and everything. All right. True. Yeah. Uh, in the album, album. Yeah. I wasn't even thinking about users. <laughs> mm. <clears throat> Oh, uh, John, you might be interested in this. Egghead.io. Yeah, I know has... him. Oh, you know him? Cool. Yeah, I need to start using him, though. Have you subscribed? <laughs> mm, uh, nope. I am here. This, you can use this one. <laughs> that one? Mm -hmm. Then I should be, be, be on the NSA list. At <laughs> <Not> once. <laughs> you will be after I post that. <laughs> and I see his filter is going to catch that. And it's going to be chasing you. I had this one for a while, but <laughs> my, my wife didn't like it. <laughs> <laughs> this one is one of my favorites. Favorite avatars. I had it for. for uh, a few years back. I like I like Stewie. Stewie is cool. <laughs> Family guy. This is my first avatar. Normal people boy. <laughs> That's awesome. This one is cool too. Yeah, well. Hey. Now, this is uh, Thomas in good shape. <laughs> <laughs> when was that taken? 
year and a half ago. Well, wow, not too long, huh? 7, 7 January 2012, so two years ago. <laughs> so, yeah. Well, I'm not the you know well trained 40 year old guy anymore. I used to be. Wait this. Well, no, I don't have any good pictures. <laughs> I like my comic strip here. Yeah, that's awesome. How did you make that? What like, is I do that with a special software? Yeah, it's a, it's a special filter for Photoshop. Uh -huh. And then I have some elements that I can just, you know, work with oh, okay. bubbles and stuff, you know. Cool. Yeah. So I can take any picture and do do it as a cartoon. <laughs> All right. Okay. So uh, yeah. Well, I guess uh, uh, you're satisfied with the pictures. Yeah. Don't worry. I can still pull it off your. Instagram or Facebook, anything yeah. I like. If you don't hand me anything, I'll pick one. So, Brian, and, um, will, will, is there anything you guys can do for the first describe block on this uh, AV search? Or do we what do? is the first describe block? Okay, let's try them as constants. Uh, just find and replace. So if I just upcase it, it's automatically a constant? Yeah, I believe so. All right. I'm only going to change one and see if that affects the outcome of the test. Why don't you guys put it in a class? Why don't you put it in a class? Huh? You're, you're driving right now. Let <laughs> <laughs> uh, me away that. Wouldn't that be faster than changing that to constants? No, constant is just uppercasing the thing. Class, you gotta wrap it up and change the test and. Oh. Yeah. 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 That's just same day today. <sighs> well, it's not breaking. Although I. Hmm. Perhaps we should turn off the mailer and run the code and see if it actually still works. I mean, the software. Oh, the mailer is coming. Um, eight. Expect right to include Thomas, so it's not included. Is that right? Yeah, it's not included. It shouldn't be there as a default, so it should be no name actually. Yep. Uh, we got that working. Uh, cool. Like, I don't understand why be include rather than just include. Or whatever. I don't know the... Uh, I know there is uh, rules for that. Thomas, say again what the idea was with B. It's somehow like a more lenient matcher or something? Uh, I don't know. Uh, but okay, so but is there a can you use to include? Uh, well, B include is the one I found in the documentation, so that's why I use it. Yeah, changing it to a constant works. All right. Yeah. Awesome. Do you want that as a, a pull request, or it's not really much? You could just do it on your side. Yeah. I change two words, and then yeah. change the test. Look for no name. Oh yeah, John. Uh, do you want a little uh, demonstration of how to squash commits? Yes. Yeah, I know a couple of people have been asking. I might as well make it live. Uh, mm, yeah, well, let's actually just do it in a separate hangout with the recording, and it will be like okay. a five-minute YouTube. 
Cool. Yeah. Uh, that'll be good. I can. I can. I can change yeah. those uh, things. Or do you want to use this repo as a as an example of those squash commits? Or what? Um, I don't know. I need something with a couple of commits, or I just create a dummy something. Well, I mean, you have your well, pull request yeah. going into Cordelia. Oh yeah, I guess I could try uh, that. But how anyway. are you gonna merge that? Uh, I can merge it later on. If, you, if you guys are done, of course, I don't want to interrupt. Yeah, I'm done. I mean, uh, yeah, I, I know what to do now. Y you, you don't have to make a make a commit, uh, John, if you don't like want to. I can I can make those changes myself. It's great. Yeah. yeah. Now I know at least. Sure. Yeah. Sure. Sounds great. Cool. I have to make some some changes in the in the method itself because that uses that instance variable. So I have to yep. make it the constant. Yeah. It's just. Uh, changing in two places, the definition and that one place in the method. Hmm. Hmm. Sure. I fixed But you'll that. probably also want to update the other variables mm -hmm. into constants. So. Uh, yeah. Or you can just have one large default hash as the constant, because everything else in there is, you know, constants. Might as well make the whole hash a constant. But I don't use them on, in the same place later. Oh, okay. Okay, that right, makes sense. Yeah. Right, you do okay. refer to them in separate, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, all right, guys. Uh, I, I, I will be going to cook dinner. So you guys... Okay, cool. And thanks very much for your assistance, as usual. And I'll see you guys later tonight. Yeah, I'll see, I'll see you later, Thomas. I got a couple of things I need to run through with you. Um, yeah. Before you run off. Yeah. Well, I'll be Otherwise. here. Well, I see you tonight anyway. All right? Yeah. Okay. Cool. Okay. Yes. Bye bye. All right. See you, Thomas.